to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Lisette. And guys, I have another post review for you guys. This is a Mary's Diamonds. My very first and probably <laughs> for now at least my last Mary's Diamonds. But look, wow. Okay, Mary's Diamonds guys is a um, company based in the States, in the United States. And they said that they were going to ship to Europe, uh, but I haven't seen any changes on their website. Um, they contacted me in June of last year and asked me if I wanted to try one of their diamond paintings. So this diamond painting I chose and I didn't have to pay for it, they sent it to me. And I said to them, uh, yeah, I'll be willing to try your diamond painting and I'll give my honest opinions because guys, you don't, you know I don't do affiliates, nothing like that. This is the only diamond painting in my entire stash of 52 um, that has been given to me. The other ones I have paid for myself. I would have gotten this one and paid for it uh, gladly because I wanted to order from Mary's Diamonds. But they said, no, we're going to send it to you to try. Okay, so it's around, it's 48 colors, it's called Sweet Dreams and it's from Alina Lazareva. The problem is, guys, I don't see Alina Lazareva on their website anymore. Uh, I know that there's, their website's going under construction uh, due to the Chinese New Year. Um, so maybe after that, Alina Lazareva will be back. I don't know. Maybe the licensing is stopped uh, because this is a legally licensed diamond painting. You know, I only do legally licensed work on my channel. Legally licensed guys means that the artist is getting paid for uh, their artwork that's being used for diamond paintings. I do know that um, Craftably has Alina Lazareva diamond paintings that are licensed but I don't think that they have this one maybe they will bring it out and well if you can get them to do because this one was so much fun to work on I think it's definitely in my well top three diamond paintings till date that I have done and that's saying something guys because in the bottom you've got all these cupcakes and things. You've got all these changes in colors. Look at this orange. That's so much fun to do. Her face. Okay, rendering wise, maybe this is a bit stark. Uh, and especially if you're up close, it's really weird because she's got like glitter colors in her nose. I'll show you. Look here. That really is a bit weird. Her eyes and this, the eyeshadow, the bold green eyeshadow, that's really great. But look at these oranges. Her mouth is beautiful. The background, guys, is part color blocking, part uh, confetti. That took me a while. That, this on her head, little cupcake. <laughs> That was my diamond painting bonbon. Uh, I made a time lapse. I'll put a link over there. It's the last one that I'm making because that takes so much time, guys. And it's really unpractical because um, not all the top layers, this is port glue, not all the top layers are thick. I like the thicker plastic that stays on really good, but sometimes it's, sometimes it's thin and if you want to do um, a diamond painting bonbon, which means that you're saving a certain part for, la for last, uh, then you need to work around it and, well, it's just a bit of a hassle. I like doing it, but sometimes it's good to stop doing something. And look at this, this strawberry, and guys, yeah. Okay, this isn't something that I would hang up, but I don't hang any of my diamond paintings for that matter, so, but this one is so much fun to do. The Oh, and there are a lot of ABs in it, guys. There are uh, one, two, three, four, 
Five, one, two, three, five ABs. Five. And it's round. It's really, all the colors are fun. Oh, and another thing, this for me was the first. It was the first time that I work out of baggies. I just have them like this. And these are, I bought them at a local um, supermarket. These are just to hold your cutlery. <laughs> I just had two of these. Look, they're perfect. And almost my favorite color. And the fun thing with these bags is they are really thick. They are thick plastic. They are really sturdy. Look. Ugh. So I'm going to kit this one down. I'm going to save these baggies. And they are so much thicker than the ones that you get uh, with, for instance, uh, as free baggies with your Diamond Art Club. These are really thick. I love them. But I'm going to use them for other projects. And you just, there's only the numbers on it, not the DMC code, you can put it over there. But I followed the legend. And normally I just follow, because I like kidding up, I just follow the, the numbers and symbols on the boxes, like... This is the one from Talisman, look. Normally I do it like this. And then I just look at the symbols and work like that. But now I just work by numbers and look at the legend. So totally different, but also fun. And in between, I just kept them like this in the box. Up. Just to keep it nice and neat. So I'm going to keep, oh, and leftover drills. Well, guys, you can see tons and tons of leftover drills. Um, also, look, these are, the AB drills, look. the quality, great quality, canvas quality was great, look, it's a, it's a soft lint uh, canvas, really sticky, no popping drills. Guys, I must say, I'm, I'm totally, totally for <laughs> Mary Diamond, Mary's Diamonds diamond paintings. Uh, but I, I think that they still don't deliver to Europe. Okay, maybe they do, but you need to send them an email. You can't order directly off their uh, website. But quality, rendering, size, quality, I... And it's not because they gave it to me. I would be more than happy to pay for this quality diamond painting. Really, it is great. So if you go to Mary's Diamonds website and you see a diamond painting that you love and you're in Europe, just send them an email and maybe they'll be able to send it to you and just know that the quality of the diamond painting that you're getting will be okay. So that's, well, it's always a little bit of a risk because you never know and you can't get this exact diamond painting. But based on this one, would I order from them again? Would I send them an email? and say, I would like to get that one or that one. Absolutely. <laughs> the only thing is, I need to finish my current stash first. So in a couple of years, <laughs> if they're still around and if they still do diamond paintings, uh, maybe I'll give them another try. But Mary's Diamonds, this one, I really, really loved it. So she's getting a spot on my Closet door and I have shown this in talisman as well. She was already hanging there, but I'll put her back and I'll show you Look, there's talisman There's talisman. I already did a post review on that one and there she is and there's the rest of my stash <laughs> And I can't even touch that until I have finished some current whips which are really big <clears throat> okay guys let me know what you think do you like her do you like my alina lazareva um would you like to get an alina lazareva if not from mary's diamonds then maybe from uh craftably uh have you ordered from mary's diamonds if you're in europe and you've ordered from Mary Di mary's diamonds how did that go 
Please leave it in the comments below so other followers or other people who watch this video can read it over there. I am really interested as well. As far as I know, they still don't uh, send to Europe uh, automatically, but I'll stand corrected and I'll, I'll, I'll adjust it in the description below. All the product information is in the description below, but guys, as you can no longer get this one, it will only be the link to the website of Mary's Diamonds. Go check it out. I do think that it's not possible to get a diamond painting from them till the end of February, I think. Uh, but be patient and, um, well, go check them out. So guys, if you like this video, I really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up on your way out. And if you'd like to see more of these kinds of videos, well, I'll hope you consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!